Nearing the end of Monster Hunter World now. Not got that much left to do. But I have a very important thing that I need to do right now. And that's to deal with Rune and Urgigante. Now, it occurs to me that I probably should have um, said hello or something. I don't know. I really need to structure my videos better because I'm completely um, disorganized and have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. Let's just go. Come on. Now, I am currently... Or rather, I have Fairy currently dressed up in um, Raging Brachidios gear. Now, we just need to find out where Mr. Ruiner is hanging out. And it could be just about anywhere. Where are these blue things leading us? I thought he was going to be in the desert region, but I'm guessing not. Oh. So, you're just leading me to some spiky things. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I can work with that. But where do we go from here? And don't just say, back the way we came. No, see, there is a much easier way of doing this. Let me just fly up here. Fly up here, double back on myself. And fly over here. Was I right? Is he in the desert region? I was right, he is in the desert region, and I could have found him if I'd just gone this way from the start, rather than following the stupid blue things. Thanks, guys. Now... Mr. Ruin and Urgigante. Oh, you left some thorns for me. Well, that's an absolutely delightful gift. But if you don't mind, I will need to, um, kill you. Uh, would you, would it hurt you to pay attention to me? Excuse me. If I stand in front of your face, you can't ignore me, can you? Um. Yeah, hello. I'm here. Roar it. Don't you fucking well ignore me! Here, have some barrel bombs. Come over here. Whee! Great fun. Oh, God, he's doing the thing. Excuse me. Let me just... Uh... Ow! What the hell? He got me through the ground! I was behind cover! Cheeky! I will have you know that I am a total and utter hypocrite and will not abide anyone else cheating harder than me. You see, between the two of us, only one of us is permitted to cheat. You are not allowed to shoot me through the ground because I can't do that. So I'll just have to shoot you over the ground and shoot you in the head and, and all that good stuff. I don't even have to reload. Yeah, you're doing the thing. I get it. Don't know where you're shooting at, though. I don't have slicing ammo on this HPG. Excuse me. Sorry, I just ate. Um, you know, ideally, I'd like to shoot these on his head, but he kind of keeps moving about a lot. I... Uh, pressed the button and the button did nothing but it seems it's okay because great thing about sticky ammo it has delayed effect so even when I'm down on the ground if I've got all the stick oh he's doing the thing again of course he's doing the thing again oh no thank you I think I just broke his other horn off yep uh, what say we try some different ammo? PS2 seems like a fun idea. Actually, I need to soften you up for PS2, don't I? Not your arm. Well, I think he's going to shake me off any second. Thanks. Didn't hurt that much, though. Let me get up. Well, that's not what I intended to do, but... You know what? Doesn't matter. I don't have to soften you up. If I just shoot these through you over and over again, I'm sure it'll have the desired effect. He's doing it again. He, Look! You one-trick pony! Could you use some other move? Please! Yeah, I know, that's hypocritical of me as well. I changed ammo, though! I did change ammo! Can I shoot you through the ground? 
No, no, I can't. The only you can do that. I like piercing ammo. I really do like piercing ammo. Let's soften up his head. There we go. He's nearly dead anyway. And after we've beaten you... He's doing the thing again. I know it was slightly different. But I was going to say, after we've beaten you, it should unlock my master rank cap. And I'll finally be able to encounter more things here in the Guiding Lands, and probably set the Guiding Lands to level 7 or whatever. And that will mean I'll be able to augment my weapons. Finally. Like, would you believe how much difficulty I go through because I can't augment my weapons? You know, until recently, the level of, um... The skills I have active have been enough to actually keep me alive, but I couldn't help but notice here in the Guiding Lands, I'm taking a lot more damage than I was even in the rest of Master Rank. It's quite alarming, really. Anyway. You've been a good kitty, PV. Here, have a snossage. Well, now, that is, um... Quite the jump. Does that mean I've unlocked everything now? Can I fight tempered elder dragons in the in in the guiding lands? I would quite like to fight tempered elder dragons in the guiding lands, if and that's okay with you. What's this bitch want? Okay, no, that that's fine. That I can get behind, but they're not in the guiding lands. But okay. No, no, that that's okay. And more, apparently. Actually, before any of that, let's go and do something I've been putting off. I'm going to go see Safi Jeeva, okay? If that's okay with you. I don't know whether the Safi Siege is actually on or not, but I will at least get to do the recon mission. And off we go! It's glitching in the breeze. Gotta admit, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Safi Jeeva. I mean, Zeno Jeeva was a great design. It looked so alien and unique. Safi Jeeva is just a big red dragon. I mean, it's like he couldn't be more generic if he tried. Sorry, I don't know what you were saying. I don't really care. Let's, um... Can I paralyze him? I don't know. Maybe I can paralyze him. Pun pun what now? He's making everything glowy. I'm probably not supposed to, um, solo this. Don't make... Don't make any plonk noises at me, mate. La -da 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 -da. I shouldn't be doing this without augmented weapons, really, but... It is the way it is. Actually, here's a better idea. Not getting blasted in the face would be a good idea. Haha, <laughs> I framed. Oh, he's going back the other way, is he? Excuse me. Oh, didums, did I KO you? Actually, let me put Wyvern Heart in. There we go. No, no, no. None of that. You see, I am understanding why this guy is not meant to be soloed. Would you fucking stop that? Okay, he's a generic red dragon, but his laser spam is really tedious. I am probably going to effing die. Excuse me, let me just put my weapon away before he lasers me to death. PV, do something.
God damn it, Safi. Well, he hasn't made any plunk noises yet. God's damn acne plonkosaurus. Wait, is his head broken completely? I don't think it would be that easy. I normally have trouble with that in multiplayer. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of out of range at the moment, and he's lasering. Oh, he's slow lasering. Gods, I really can't deal with the slow laser. No, I want to shoot his back. His back's a weak spot. Or rather, his back's a spot that's difficult for anybody to break, and I normally go for his back as a matter of priority, because um, non-gunners just can't get there. Well, except insect flavors. I found that folks with insect glaives can break his back pretty consistently, but... Where is he going? You know what? Screw this. Sticky ammo. Oh, is he leaving? Well, fun times. Off you go, then. Uh, yeah, something like that. Magical ground juice. Okay, let me down. Let me go. Oh, he made the plonk noise. I don't know why he makes the plonk noise. I've never been able to work that out. Hey! That didn't even look like he was aiming at me. Excuse me. Do you mind? And I will just stick my sticky ammo all over you. Excuse me. Well, I kind of figured that. You see, this is why I normally go for his head as a matter of priority. Because whenever, we, whenever I play multiplayer, he almost always ends up looking at me all the time. So I might as well be aiming for his head. Can't do squat about his tail though, because I don't have slicing ammo. Oh god, he's doing the thing! No wait, he was trying to do the thing. He's probably gonna try and do the thing again. Yep, he's doing the thing. Yeah, it's okay, I know. I know what I'm doing. Stop vomiting! You disgusting creature! PV! PV! Get back here! PV didn't die. PV's tougher than I thought. <laughs> I don't think any creature could survive that, he says. And PV just, like, tanked it. My kitty is a tough guy. Wait. Come back, asshole! Oh, wait, yeah, this is just the recon mission. PV, I'm very proud of you. You're a tough kitty. Have some healing. Yeah, my cat really is the MVP here. All right, Pinky. Yep, it was like sucking up Kool-Aid or whatever. And yes, I have encountered Kool-Aid. I've been to America. We don't have it here, by the way. Or at least not that I know of. They probably sell it some places in Britain, like specialty foreign stuff shops, maybe. Yeah, you guys like throwing around the word energy a lot, but... You just basically mean glowy shit, right? I thought we already established that. Okay, well, that's, um, 
Grand. Oh, right, okay, great. Wasn't he already? What up, Pinky? こちらに。観測隊から緊急の連絡があった。税の地場の生態。急いで調査を開始しよう。集会エリアを特別体制に変更する。石流は周囲の。これを利用してやつを。はい。オッケー。司令官。はい。よし、わかった。I'm pretty sure that I can't solo the Safi siege though. Unless they made it possible to solo the Safi siege, I don't know. Some of his parts seemed to be breaking pretty easily earlier, but he was still... Um... He was still lasering the crap out of me. Okay, great. Like, please don't do that. I have to cut out the loading screens, and if I have to... Transfer my dialogue across the cutout section, it becomes all sorts of awkward. No, thought as much. Safi Siege is not actually on at all. It's Culv Taroth mode at the moment. You know... That's, that's a good enough idea. Let's switch gears a moment. Let's do Master Rank Culv Taroth. You know, I really need to capture all of this golden wildlife in this area. I still haven't done that yet. Yeah, let me equip this. My barrel bombs, my sticky ammo, and now I can slide the rest of the way. I love this slide. This slide's great fun. Whee! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Goldilocks! Let me just soften up your face. No, no, don't, don't do anything. When I was gonna say don't do anything, I meant don't do anything like you just did. Cheeky. Oh, oh, oh nearly. Well done there, PV. Now, can I so soften up your head yet? No, apparently not. You're just going to make this super difficult for me, aren't you? Right. Tell you what, bitch. I'm going to keep using sticky ammo for the time being. And maybe I'll get to KO her. There we go. And then I can soften her head up. Bangarang. Now... If I just switch to PS2 ammo, she has a very long body. And she's about to... Oh, God's the tail! Ouch. You know, you're going to be screwed once I gain the ability to augment my weapons. You are going to be so screwed, because I am going to have bloody health regen on them. And then we'll see who's laughing. I'll be able to heal faster than you'll be able to damage me. But I have to kill some tempered elder dragons in the guiding lands for that. Excuse me, no thanks. You should probably soften up your arms too now, think about it. Oh, you're doing the tail thing, are you? Ah, shit, did not respond in time. Well, whatever. So that's the trouble with trying to solo things as a gunner. So that I've got the monster's attention all the damn time and PV's not in shield bro mode. I should have put PV in shield mode. Hey, God damn you clipped me, you absolute cunt! PV, I might have to... Whoa! Who the hell did that? PV, was that you? I should stick... I should set you to shield mode. Though you've done very impressively today. Um... Do 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 <laughs> No, I do like the music here, I really do. I don't think Pierce is gonna serve us very well anymore. What 
is she doing? Hey, yo, 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 careful where you're getting that. Ow! Okay, that that was not something I was expecting. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. Easy. Ha! Eat that. I will stick these all over your goddamn head. In fact, actually, while the opportunity's there, let me just, um... Would you mind letting me have your horns? There we go. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, my lady. Uh, <laughs> Careful now. Oh, excuse me. Hey, 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 now, easy. Peavy, you might want to heal yourself. I'm a little busy. Or I could just... Well, that works. Oh, Peavy's stunned. Don't worry, I got it. I got us. Good kitty. I framed. I will just stand in the fire because this is clearly the smartest idea. Not. Are you going to go into the next area yet? Okay, finally. Stand in between the two horns and carve. Right. Things are getting serious now. Come on, PV, we got this. I swear it should just be a bloody thing unto itself, shouldn't it? Soloing with HBG is, um, not the easiest. Especially when I'm exceedingly careless. What's she... She's doing the thing where fire rains down from the skies. Now, here's a thing you might not know if you've never actually played with sticky ammo before. Sticky ammo is one of the few things that can deal damage to monsters when they're in an otherwise invulnerable state. The other one that I can think of off the top of my head is Bo's Dragon Piercer. Both Dragon Piercer and Sticky Ammo can damage her even when she's doing her iframey things. Which is very handy. Works on Fatalis as well. When he's doing his fire breathing, um, thingy me what's it. Look, if you could just um not Ow! Jeebus! I thought I was out of range of that. Sorry, I was just appreciating the music. Let me just iframe that. You know, it sounds like I'm bragging when I'm doing that, but it's actually kind of easy when I've got all the um, evasion skills active. <laughs> like, I barely even remember how to play this game without evade extender and evasion. I consider it a matter of personal shame, however, that I have had to heal a few times this fight, rather than just relying on my natural health regen. Excuse me. Pierce. Oh, God, no, she's doing that. I don't... This is the one that makes golden scud rays from the sky. Did I just kill her with a cloaca shot? I think I did. I will carve out your cloaca. Presumably. Well, ain't that lovely. 
And that is mine, and that is mine, and that is mine. And your footprints, they are also mine. Sorry, Goldilocks. You just, um, nap in the underworld or something. Peavy, what are you doing behind me? Behave yourself, kitty. You lady, talk to me. Melding appraisal weapons, don't care. You, beef man. Right, okay, well, so I can upgrade my, um, Kulv Taroth weapons. But I don't have enough equipment for, I mean, enough material for that yet. My first priority should be getting more stuff from the Guiding Lands for augmenting. Alright, what is it now? Huh? Uh -huh. What are you asking me these questions for? Let's just check. Do we have a sign? Yeah, we have an assigned Yangaruga quest. Okay. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. We can hunt a Yangaruga. Though it does occur to me that hunting Yangaruga with HBG might not be my smartest plan. Oh, I think I just jumped straight into the cutscene. Well, I don't mind that. God, he's an ugly fella, isn't he? In fact, I think we're about to see something completely unique. The only master rank Devil Joe that isn't savage. And we don't even get to kill him. We don't even get to send him to the zoo. It's like I've tried chasing this guy down before. But it's like, you, you just... He's not meant to be fought. Oh sure, scream at each other. Yeah, I know. I know. I think I might have said before, while Rajang has a reputation for being tough, I always had more trouble with Yangaruga. Look, mate, I've taken down Savajos. I'm not afraid of you. Same can't be said about this guy who I'm going to have to fight. The death chicken here. Luckily, I am actually immune to poison, so... Um, that's something, I guess. Okay. Break the devil joke! Get the devil joke! What do you mean I can't clip? I can't grab onto it. Come back, devil joke! Come back, devil joke! You bastard! Don't run away from me! Where did he go? Damn it! Well, whatever. Hi, Garuga. Oh, that's it. We hide in the, we hide in the smoke where he can't see us, or can't see us very easily. And then I just keep smashing his head until he's stunned. See? Once again, you have outdone yourself, PV. Well done. Now, can I keep this bar steward stun locked? That's the question. I can certainly try to keep him stun locked. Wait, is there something else here? Is that what the? What are you doing here, Titi? Bugger off, Titi! You're just going to get yourself hurt. What and herbivores? What? Are Herbivores, this is not a valid place to charge through. I'm trying to fight here. Where did Garuga... Oh, there he is. Like, seriously, why did this turn into a herbivore migration route? Haven't they got any kind of self-preservation? I'm back here, you asswipe. wipe. 
CG just flash bombed him out of the sky. Nice assist. Okay, I will forgive. I. <laughs> oh man, we really are just. Oh goddamn herbivores! Bugger off! Don't you dare block my shots. This is actually turning out pretty, um, pretty good. Though I apologize that my HBG gameplay style is not the most entertaining to watch. Yeah, we've got him stunlocked. I think. I think he's stunlocked. Severe injuries. Okay, not... Not too much left now, uh, Trank Ammo. Now, excuse me, can I just, uh... Yay! Can't believe I was afraid of this guy. Well, whatever. PV, once again, you did good. So have a snossage. Yeah, you're a good kitty. Right, so back I go to the guiding lands. Uh, sticky ammo. Load up Dragonheart. Now, ideally, what we want to hunt here are tempered Elder Dragons. But there are only non-tempered ones at the moment, so I guess I'll have to make do with, um, with these guys. I'm sure if I'm careful about this, then I can keep these guys um, fast-tracked. Give me, let me just soften up your face, that should make it easier to kill you faster. Don't jump off the cliff, good. Okay, uh, this slightly too close range. But I guess it actually works in my favour this time. Well done, PV, that's good pl placement, I think. Good positioning. No, yeah, no, I'm afraid I can't let you spit at me. Miss Namiel, stop that. I'm afraid you're going to have to suffer much more than just moderate injuries. I need you to die as quickly as possible so we can replace you with, um... with a tempered Elder Dragon. If that's okay with you. It'll have to be okay with you, because I'm not planning on letting you leave. There we go. Squeal all you like. I don't care. And now, Velcana, don't you give me the runaround, lass. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give you the same treatment that I gave to um, Namiel. Though you're a little bit tougher to deal with, admittedly. And if I just keep shooting you in the head repeatedly, I'm sure you'll fall down. It's one of these things about you elder dragons that you'll just go down if I shoot you in the head enough. I mean, if I was using sticky ammo on top of that, you'd probably spend your entire time stunlocked like um, Yangaruga did. Would you not do that? Yeah, I'm just going to shoot you in the head until you flop over like a goldfish again. There we go. Not entirely sure why Elder Dragons do that. But as long as you can keep... Oh, there. See? That was nice and easy. As long as you can keep shooting them in the head, then you can basically keep them flopped on the ground forever. I mean, the flip side of that is a lot of Elder Dragons, like become immune to damage anywhere but the head, so it's not as if you really have much choice in the matter. Now, if and you don't mind guild handles, could you lure out a monster for me? I don't have any for Teostra. Okay, lure out a Kashala Daura in the forest region for me, would you? Yes. 
Fly, little burb. Go and bring back a tempered Teostra for me, would you? And get rid of Rajang. We don't need Rajang. It seems I got what I wanted. He's just on the upper level. Oh, let me just grab these while I'm at it. Hello, tempered Kushala. Now, there we go. Flopped like a goldfish. Now, if I soften this up, I'll make it even easier for you to flop like a goldfish. I did not want to bounce in that direction, but okay. You'll just turn and face me anyway if I give you half a chance. Come on, I can hit your head. Especially if you're staying completely still, I can hit your head. Shooting through the trees is a bit tricky, though. Come on, flop like a goldfish. There we go. There's a good idiotic Elder Dragon. You just keep flopping over like a goldfish. And I will keep shooting you up. <laughs> Is this a little too cheesy? I think it might be a little too cheesy. Die for me. And he's dead. There we go, nice and easy. See, I haven't even augmented my weapons yet. Ooh, signs of a turf war. Don't mind if I get some of those either. I can see you down there, Rajang. But you aren't welcome here. So would you kindly leave? I mean, if, you know, if, if you were a tempered Rajang, I might let you stay. But alas, you aren't tempered. Oh. Tempered Velkana just showed up, though. What say we go greet her? And if you're wondering whether I'm planning on dealing with tempered Velkana the same way I dealt with regular Velkana, the answer is probably yes. I'm not sure where she thinks she's going, though. Hey! Excuse me. Get down! Don't hey! You can't even see! What are you... Okay, fine, there's a turf war here. Just don't... <laughs> well, apparently, being stabbed by her tail was not enough to put me off. Gosh, she is feisty. Would you just let me soften up your head, please? Thank you. Gods, okay, she is, um, angry. I, I don't think she appreciated my introduction. Come on. Flop like a goldfish. Flop like a goddamn goldfish. You think it's easy for me to aim consistently at your head? Do you? I'm playing with a controller, you know, and there's all kinds of flashy crap going on, and PV is... PV's doing what PV does. I mean, I can't really discourage him. I, I like the explosives and stuff. There we go. Would you just die, please? Stop trying to get away. And I do not appreciate... You're not even going that far. Fine. Great spirit vein gem. Good. We need more of those. Anyway, lass, I don't know if anybody told you how we like to do things around here, but it is fairly well known by this point that I am a fan of explosives. So... Thank you, PV. Good job. Oh, you're doubling up. Well done, PV. You really are the MVP this time. Now, as I do like to say from time to time, there is no kill like overkill. That should be enough, I think. Probably, maybe. Let's just try. 
You're dead. I'll take that as a yes. Ooh, ice crystals. Tempered ice crystals. Might be able to get some nice investigations out of that. For God's sakes, I feel like this goddamn Rajang is stalking me. Excuse me, Rajang, would you kindly fuck off? You are not invited to this party. And you're a lot more difficult to deal with than, than the goddamn Elder Dragons. And the Kelby's here as well. For God's sakes, my range isn't that high. Please, Mr. Rajang, would you kindly leave the vicinity? God's sakes, I can't dodge fast enough with this goddamn weapon. No! I'm sure you could see me there actually trying to prepare to do the fat roll that I do with HPG. But unfortunately, when it comes to this weapon, the best defense is a good offense. And simply being able to stunlock monsters down makes it far easier to deal with them than trying to avoid all of their horrible attacks. Would you get out of my face, mate? Maybe I should just switch to... Yeah, excuse me. Let me just get Wivenheart out. Sticky ammo gives me a little more freedom to play. There we go. Now I forget which trap I'm supposed to use, so maybe I'll just use both traps. No, 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 I'm trying to trap you, don't knock me away! God damn you! Well, that did not work. I guess I have to deal more damage to him. Will he fall for the pitfall trap if I deal more damage to him? Kelby, get out of the way! Okay, let's try a shock trap. Well, that worked. We don't need any of Rajang's stuff. We're just getting rid of him and... Oh, look, another tempered Vulcana. Ugh, we don't need this. We don't need this. Let's go back to Celiana. We did okay, yeah? You know what, PV? I think we did pretty good today. I mean, it wasn't ideal, and I still haven't seen an, a Lunastra anywhere in Master Rank. I haven't seen a Tempered Teostra either, but we can work on that. And I should probably set you back to a um, Shield Spire or something, shouldn't I? Not that you aren't absolutely adorable the way you are, Kitty. But I think all the other stuff... We'll have to wait until another time. And I will try to augment my weapons, or at least I will try to collect enough loot to augment my weapons. Hopefully, at some point in the near future, Safi Jeeva Siege will show up and I'll be able to do that properly this time. With augmented weapons. I might even be able to solo it. Oh. Well, whatever. See you next Monster Hunter World video, I guess.